As you're deciding how to handle exceptions, put yourself in the user's shoes. Or remember when you're a user of certain computer programs. When an error occurs, what do you want to happen? Do you want to see a screen with information you can't use? Do you want to see a screen that has so much information you can't make sense of it? Do you want a generic message, an error occurred, sorry? No. What you'd really like is a dialog that displays enough information that lets you know that something happened, a hint on what to do if there is something you can do about it, and then useful advice on how to move on. And what you'd really like is if the program doesn't stop, but that task stops and you get that dialogue. So you've just seen in this section how you can use exception handling to control what happens in your application when an exception occurs. And the more user-friendly you make that, obviously, the better.